What is going on guys, this is Prodigy, and I'm bringing you another Black Ops 3 video today. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about some news that just dropped. No, this isn't another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video, alright? I've missed enough of those on YouTube already today alone. So I'm not even going to bother discussing that. That the, the name is what it is, I can't really tell you much off of that information anyway. We just got to wait and see what it looks like. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys about today. I wanted to talk to you guys about some more recent news that actually dropped today as well, but of course got overshadowed. So I wanted to shed a little bit of light on it. Uh, but first, I wanted to let you know the gameplay that you're watching in the background is me playing some safeguard on evac. I was using the Vesper trying to get the headshot challenges done with that, and it was a struggle. I'll be honest with you. I got it done now, but you know, they recently nerfed and then buffed the Vesper again. So, it, I mean, it, it can be fluky at times, but once you get the hang of it, you can do some work with it. And I did put in a little bit of work this game, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything like that, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy that in the background. But let's get right to the topic at hand, and I really want to share this with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool. So, if you guys haven't heard, Treyarch just tweeted out today that the clan migration in Black Ops 3 will officially go live in... I don't, I don't think it was today, but it was in like a, a few days or something like that. And so people who had clans like in Advanced Warfare on the current gen, they can officially, you know, migrate their clan over to Black Ops 3, which is cool, you know. A lot of people are into the whole clan thing. And so it's cool that they're able to finally uh, migrate over to the new game. So more power to them. I think that's good. You know, I personally wasn't into the whole clan thing, but a lot of people are. And, you know, I see nothing wrong with that. But... However, as on top of that, they also announced that there will be a new system dropping within the game, and this is going to be called the Black Ops 3 Groups. And I'm not sure if that's the name they're going to run with. It looks like it is. But it's going to be in beta stage, and it's going to roll out May 10th, the day after they finish the clan migration. And I really thought that this was pretty interesting. I thought it was a great idea. So I'm going to share with you guys, you know, just a quick overview of what it is and how it's going to work. At least to my knowledge, there's not a whole lot of details on it yet. But there is uh, a couple of key, key things that they have addressed. And I'm also going to leave the link in the description for you guys to check out for yourself if you want to do that, which I recommend you should. So what this is, the Black Ops 3 groups, it's, it's going to be like an in-game community if you if you would something like that like picture if you're on ps4 you know the whole community system on ps4 picture that but in game within black ops 3 at least that's how i perceive it's gonna be there's not any you know footage or screenshots or anything like that yet but from what they're saying it sounds like it's gonna be like the community system or maybe like a forum within the game and it's going to be a group and people can create their own groups and add people in their group. So if you have a group of friends that you play with on a consistent basis, you know, you can add them to the group, call the group, whatever you want. Or if you have, you know, a group of streamers or a group of YouTubers, you know, you can create a group for you for you guys and your uh, group of people and you guys can play together. So, you know, the thing that makes this cool is the features that it's going to come with, you know, so basically if you're within a group in the black ops 3 i'm not i'm not even sure how to reference this because like I, I guess just if you're in a black ops 3 group you know you'll be able to do things like quick join the people who are in the group it'll also show on the quick join menu on your multiplayer screen on the right side where you have uh who is online and who's not so you, you'll be able to quick join people from there as well as within the group which is cool the group will also have its own leaderboard and it can also the leaderboard can be changed to you know, reflect different statistics. So if the admin of the group wants to, you know, change the parameters on how people are ranked in the leaderboards, he can do that, he or she can do that. And I think that's cool because, you know, not everybody might necessarily care about who has the highest KD or whatever or the highest SPM. Uh, some people are more objective based or some people might want to base their group off of more of different stats So that's cool. I, I like the fact that they give you that freedom and You know, yeah, so how they say it's gonna look is that there will be like I said I, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's gonna look like some sort of form the group will have its own home page It'll be able to display a message on the home screen 
and you'll be able to see the roster and the list of people who are also in the group as well and who's online and what people are playing and I'm assuming that you'll be able to request uh, people to like join your uh, your group or party up with you or whatever which would be which is pretty cool he's not it's like a it's like I said it's like its own little gaming forum catered to Black Ops 3 within the game so that's cool and the group can also showcase different content from the group members so I'm guessing that could be like game clips or screenshots or whatever or even like little messages posts or status updates so I mean it, it kinda sounds like a mini social network within the game which is cool I like the fact they're adding to the social experience but the thing that makes this so interesting to me is that this could be really great for content creators such as streamers and youtubers who like to you know get out there and network and connect with other people because if you start a group for youtubers or start a group for streamers and you join that group or invite people to that group you know you have an unlimited amount of people who you can connect with who you can talk to who you can party up with play with and you can you have the potential to meet some really great people and it's a lot easier than just playing the game and happening to run into somebody who you think is cool in a lobby because you know yeah that happens from time to time but you know it doesn't exactly happen every day but if you're in a group specifically for other youtubers and you guys can you know communicate and connect with each other then that really allows you to broaden your horizons and play with other people and collab with other people potentially make content together and put yourself in front of different audiences so I really think that that can be a great thing for content creators if taken advantage of in the right way which I'm hoping most people do because like I said this news kinda got overshadowed with the whole infinite warfare leak and all that but I'm sh hopefully when this actually does release, people will pay more attention to it and try and take advantage of it because, that, like I said, this could be a really huge potential for content creators. And I think that is really cool. And I, I really like the fact that they're trying to add to the social experience of Black Ops 3. And I really hope this is something that sticks and that they bring to future Call of Duties. And I hope more games also do stuff like this as well. You know, I haven't played every game, obviously, so I don't know how many games may or may not have systems like this. But I really hope that this is something that sticks and this is something that becomes a norm in the community. So this is just some news I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to make a video about it to see what you guys thought about it. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. As I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you guys to check this out for yourself. But that's all for this video, guys. Once again, this is Prodigy. Thanks for watching.